Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we are uncovering three Shopify dropshipping stores, not just Shopify, but dropshipping stores that are making over six figures per month. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video before we get started. And three, two, one, let's go. All right guys, so I got my Aloha water and we are ready to go. So the first store that I wanna go over is called stuffnice.com. So you're probably wondering, dude, like how do you know that these are six figure stores? Are you just like guessing? Like what's the deal? So um, I actually use a plugin, it's called uh, Commerce Inspector, where you can actually see things like their best sellers, how much they're selling, uh, how often they're launching products, like all kinds of different metrics. Um, and it's actually free. I'll leave a link in the description below that you can check it out if you want. There's also a paid version that um, I'm gonna be using and, and showing you in this video just so you can see sales data, but that's pretty much the only difference. Um, and you don't really need it if you don't want to. So um, it's this little guy right here, just a, a little Chrome plugin. I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see for this store, $40,000 estimated revenue in the last week. So if we multiply that by four, four weeks, assuming that they are staying consistent and, and doing this every week, which a uh, store this size I would assume they are, that equals out to $160,000 per month, which is really, really good. They've sold um, 1,700, over 1,700 units in the last week, and we can actually scroll down and see what their best sellers are for the week. So uh, you can see this electronics accessory organizer has sold over $6,000. This one sold over 4,000. Um, so we can just go through and, and you know kind of see. You can't see this uh, this stuff on the free version, but you can see the best selling, which I'm going to go to right now. Um, so if we go to the best selling, it'll actually uh, show us sort of the uh, the best selling all time products on this website. Okay, so as you can see, the best selling products all time are actually different than the best selling for the week, which is fine. Um, but I want to point out one thing, well, a few things that are uh, going to be sort of common factors between all the websites that I'm going to show you. And this is something that I think is huge, especially for people getting started or people that haven't seen results. I think this might be the breakthrough for you guys. So um, I want to point out that all of these products, most of these products, I should say, with the exception of like maybe this one, are what I would call problem solving products. So they're products that um, there, there's a problem, you know, it might be like a minor problem or it might be a major problem, you know, either way. But these products offer a solution to that as opposed to something like a bracelet or a necklace or like some random, uh, you know, shirt or something like that, which all make money and I've made a bunch of money uh, selling them. But uh, these are, are more viral, I would say, especially for Facebook. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and, and look. So problem solving product, the clothes folder, again, solves the problem. Um, let's, uh, so this one, some sort of kitchen item, uh, elbow support. So, so as you can see, all problem solving items. Let's go ahead and click on one uh, just to sort of take a look at, at what they're doing. And I wanna point out a few things for you. Okay, so number one, we see a giant uh, product photo, which is good. Uh, it's, it's forefront, we can see it. Um, the second thing I want to show you is this. Um, well, first of all, it's a bright color. It's red. I use green. Um, you could use red. You could use uh, you know any other bright color that calls attention to itself. That's not just like super annoying. Um, but I want to I want to show you this. It says yes, I want it now, as opposed to like add to cart or buy now, whatever. So I don't do this currently. I just actually noticed this today, um, and I'm actually going to start implementing it in my store. I think. But what I think this does, uh, sort of psychologically is it, it makes somebody, if, if they want it now, they're more likely to actually follow through with that purchase as opposed to, okay, I'll add to the card and then I have to go through, you know, actually buying it, putting in shipping information, whatever. But if you say, I want it now, I don't know, just psychologically that feels like somebody wants to buy um, like right now. So anyways, um, just a little tip that I think might be cool. Um, then you got the safe checkout badges. Now I'm gonna go through a few things that I find, <clears throat> excuse me, that I find in common on all these websites in terms of uh, the description because that's really what's going to sell your product. Okay, so I'm just going to read this. Leaving a drink on your desk is without a doubt risky. It can spill and ruin important documents and delicate equipment. All it takes is an arm sweep. What's more, having to work around it is the definition of annoying. It eats up space. However, can you work without coffee or your favorite beverage in your system? Good news, you don't have to give your lifeblood up. Enter the cup holder desk clip. So what I want to point out about this is number one, they set up a problem. Okay, they set up a problem that having a drink on your desk like this one without a cap on it, you know, you can like spill it or and get it all over important documents, whatever. So that's a major issue, especially for people that are, you know, that are working at desks, whatever. So this item actually allows you to clip a, a, a you know, a little clip 
of a cup holder to your desk and put your cup in there so you don't risk spilling it, right? Problem, and uh, the product is the hero and also the solution to that, okay? So that's what they're doing. That's sort of the, what I would consider the winning product description formula, which you will see in other, um, you know, in, in other examples here. Then they go into features and benefits, which I do as well. Looks like they got three here. I do anywhere from three to five. I just wanna hammer home, um, you know, the, the benefits of the product. Um, you know, as much as possible. And then again, 10 to 20 working days for shipping. I always put that because this is a drop shipping store and all of these that I'm showing you are dropping, are drop shipping stores. Um, then we have add to cart now, what are you waiting for? Offer ends, stock runs out. So again, they're adding um, the add to cart. Obviously you wanna have that at the end. You wanna have a call to action, but uh, you wanna include scarcity and urgency, which they are doing here as well. Then just some product specs and uh, looks like some, some other cross sales and, and whatnot here. Okay, so uh, the last thing I wanna go over on this website is they uh, is sort of how their, their menu is. And, and you, again, you'll find this on every website, but they have number one in About Us, which includes obviously About Us, the story, um, FAQs for shipping and delivery, as well as uh, refunds and returns, and uh, privacy and terms of service, all that stuff. And then also a, an option to track your order. Okay, you want to have all that stuff readily available and easily accessible for your customers because it makes your company just more legitimate. It just seems more legitimate. Okay, so uh, so that's the first one. Then the uh, second one I want to go to is this one, which is called Alexa, Alexia & Co. And some of you guys might notice this theme. Okay, this is actually a free Shopify theme with a free email signup called Privy, which I think I've talked about before. You can download um, you know, and, and use for yourself. I'm just going to X off of this. What I want you to notice here is that Alexia & Co, this, this is their homepage. They just have exclusively products. They want to have their products be front and center. Um, whereas this one, the Stuff Nice, they have a nice picture, which I know a lot of you guys have. You might have a little tagline or something. But what I want to show is that they actually have an incentive to buy. So 70% off, 15% off your entire order with this uh, coupon code. Uh, buy now, right? Buy now, buy now, buy now. That's that's the entire goal of this. You don't want to have wasted space with random photos or, or whatever on your on your website. Um, whereas in this case, they just were like, you know, screw it. We don't even need to do that. We'll just have our products on the front page, which most of the time people aren't going to be going to your front page anyways. But uh, you know, anyways, that's that's how it is. So up here again, about us, FAQs, track your order. Let's see how much they're making per month. So uh, let's go up to Commerce Inspector, guys. Look at that, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the last month that this store has made, or sorry, in the last week that this store has made. So that's over a million dollars per month uh, that they're making off of this dropshipping store. Just ridiculous. Okay, so this is the, the best selling products that they have. So best seller, again, is a problem solving product. It's it's one, um, let's just get, let's just click through it. I'm, I'll go through these. Um, looks like a lot of these are problem solving. Actually, this is this is really good, these uh, waist trainers. Not specifically this one, but just waist trainers in general. Especially this time of year, people are trying to lose weight, trying to stay in shape, whatever. Um, so these these are great for uh, you know the fitness niche. Well, let's go up to this one, because this is their, their best seller. It looks like they're selling it for $25. And uh, yeah, so again, they have bright colored add to cart button. They're using green, last one was red, I use green, you know, whatever. Um, got some scarcity here. Immediately, they're going for the upsell, um, which is interesting because uh, sometimes you see the upsell after. They're going for it immediately. And this one is called uh, Product Bundles, I think is what it's called. I use Boost Sales. Um, you know, you could use either. I do have a coupon code for Boost Sales if you want to get it. It's in the description below. Um, but yeah, so they're taking their their average order value from 25 to now 94. So, you know, you want a $100 order, that's how you do it. You upsell people on similar products. So somebody who wants to have like a boob lift is probably gonna wanna have a butt lift and, and probably gonna wanna have like a slim waist, right? So they all make sense, they all work together and it's easy to upsell, that's that's how it works. Okay, so then we have our guaranteed safe checkout. Let's see uh, what their angle is here. So uh, need an instant breast lift, no need for surgery. All you need is one of these exclusive to Alexi and Co. So it's, they're obviously marketing to women that uh, maybe want a breast lift, maybe want to do a breast augmentation, something like that. Um, but they don't want to have to go through surgery. They don't want to have to do, um, you know, go through all the time and money that it takes to do that kind of thing. So this product appeals to them because it's like, you know, hey, listen, you can just put this bra on and, and it'll be fine. And, you know, you get sort of similar results. So again, setting up the problem, it's too expensive, takes a lot of time, you have to go through surgery, all that stuff. And then offering the solution, which is obviously this product. 
Um, then they go through how to use, um, instructions, and free shipping here at the end, and product reviews. So if you guys are wondering how to get these product reviews, you can literally just do, um, these ones might be, might be legitimate, I'm not sure. Um, but there's a, an app called Ali Reviews where you can actually go on uh, and get AliExpress reviews to import to your store. It costs like 10 bucks or something like that. Um, that you can actually uh, get reviews for your store even if you don't have uh, specific customer re reviews. Okay, so that's Alexia and Co. making a million dollars a month. That's what a million dollar a month Shopify store looks like and how they set it up. Okay, last one I want to go to is Dude Gadgets. Um, these guys, again, are really into selling problem-solving products. Um, obviously, as you can see, that's what works. Okay, so let's go down. They have a quick about us, then immediately going into products. Okay, all these different products, uh, feature product, whatever. Let's go up and, uh, oh, first of all, as you can see, they have an about us, return, help, and FAQ, all on the home page, easily accessible. Again, what, what you want to do. So let's go to a commerce inspector and, and kind of see what we got here. So click on this guy. All right, guys, $200,000 estimated revenue in the last week. That's over $800,000 in the last month, assuming they're consistent. So obviously a highly profitable store. We go down and look at the, uh, the most popular products. As you can see, this one sold over $15,000 in the last week, um, 500 units plus sold. Um, this one, it looks like 12,500, 200 units sold. Like, you know, guys, you can literally just see what they're selling and, and go sell it yourself, make it better, make marketing better, whatever. Um, and, and that's literally how you do it. All right, so guys, let's just go back to the commerce inspector and see if we can't find um, like this product. Let's see what they're doing here to, uh, to obviously sell $15,000 in the last week. So let's, uh, let's just click on this one and here we go, okay. So white bright, now teeth whitening changes forever. That's actually the name of the product. It's pretty interesting. Um, it's, it's pretty click, clickbaity as well, which is cool. Um, so the greatest discovery ever made for teeth just happened. Update, despite going viral, we're officially back in stock to make sure you don't have to pre-order later on. How we recommend submitting your order today. So this guy is super, super interesting. So I'm sure they ran a Facebook ad or they saw a Facebook ad or something um, where this product was just like going viral, like getting millions of views in, in a few days, right? And what they did is they actually um, used that to their advantage and included some scarcity and urgency in this in this uh, product description, which I'm sure led to at least some of those fifteen thousand dollars sales. Um, you know, so this is really a really smart and creative way to increase that urgency and scarcity and get people to buy like right now, right? Um, Let's see, so it looks like they're setting up a problem here. Do you wish you could have whiter and brighter teeth within minutes, been disappointed by strips, toothpaste, other gels, no more gimmicks, no more copycats. Imagine waking up to every morning and seeing yellow or stained teeth on the mirror, what would you do? Okay, so this is the problem. It's people that have yellow and stained teeth that have tried other uh, teeth whitening programs or whatever and it doesn't work and they just want something that'll work and it'll be easy to use and you know, whatever. That's the problem. Now they come in and see uh, the bright white teeth smilers, a new technology that dentists, orthodontists, and celebrities all over the world have been using to whiten their teeth within minutes. So not only do we have social proof, but we also have the product becoming uh, the hero and the solution for the problem that the people that are obviously gonna be hyper-targeted uh, to come here in the first place, uh, the problem they're facing, now they have it with the bright white teeth whitener. Then it looks like they have uh, some sort of long form sales letter with uh, different testimonials or whatever. And then at the end, they have the add to cart, which is super interesting, a ninja technique that I actually use myself. So you can have it at the top, which uh, doesn't look like they have it at the top. So I don't know why, um, but you can have it at the top and the bottom, um, which is what I do. And all you have to do is copy the, uh, the HTML or whatever code it is um, from the top to the bottom. So you can have two actually working for you, um, which I can do a video on that if you want um, to show you guys how to do it. But um, this is something that can increase conversions like crazy because people are too lazy to scroll up these days, especially when you're on mobile, like that's a long way to scroll. So if you have the add to cart button immediately at the bottom, it just makes it so much more likely that somebody will actually purchase and actually like hit that add to cart button. Then at the end, um, again, we have the frequently bought together, um, upsells, might be product bundles, might be something else, not sure. Um, but they increased it from 30 to now $64. And that's how you make your real money. Guys, that is all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you learned and got some golden nuggets out of this because literally guys, this is all you need 
to start building a successful Shopify store because you have the products, you have how much they're actually making and, and you can spy on their ads, figure out what they're doing, which I've talked about in previous videos before. Now, all you have to do is actually go implement it. So you have no excuse to not be able to go implement this and start making some sales, making some money off of stores that are similar to this that as you noticed are all problem solving products. So go ahead and implement that into your own niche or your own store, build a new store, whatever. Um, go ahead and do that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a video like this because we're dropping value, we're dropping gold every single day, five days a week, uh, not on weekends anymore just because it's getting kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, five days a week so you will be notified as soon as that happens. Also leave a like on this video if you liked it and leave me a comment below letting me know what you want to see in the future. And guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh, yeah, I need you in the midnight. Oh.